happy 4th of July. This is America's 248th birthday. And while, of course, there are many ways to celebrate our independence, here at Camp Pendleton, gratitude for our freedom is at the forefront. I'm definitely incredibly thankful. The few, the proud, are United States Marines letting freedom ring on the 4th of July. I was in the Air Force for 20 years. I mean, I'm glad I'm able to do stuff like this as well as be the future generation to help keep this going, per se. Just down the way from their barracks is essentially their own private beach. <laughs> the Del Mar Beach at Camp Pendleton was packed with our nation's finest. Our Marines are doing good. We love it. Um, we love serving our country. We love fighting for everyone. We love doing everything we can to be better than we can yesterday. Camp Pendleton Marines, their families and friends, all invited to let loose and enjoy. I feel like a lot of us, you know, are patriotic in a way. This is our one way to celebrate it, as well as we get to get together with some of our buddies who also are brothers and sisters who serve with us and just kind of celebrate the times together and enjoy a day at the beach. From swimming, grilling, and playing in the sand where they typically train to games and activities for both the young and young at heart. That one's going to be right here. That one's going to go right here. Thank you. Happy 4th of July to you, too. James Stimmel and his family are in town from Tucson for their annual 4th of July tradition. He served in the Air Force for 20 years and continues to give back, working at the Veterans Administration. I think that the American people now need to teach the younger generation what veterans are, you know, the respect for them. And it's not too late to join. This event goes until 7, and then the fireworks show starts at 9. Reporting from Camp Pendleton, Jenny Day, CBS 8.